Hi Pisces, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I am Fifi. Uh, for those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome. And cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. I say this every week, this is a safe place for everyone. There is no judgment, only love and respect. So Pisces, I'm going to get straight into your weekly love reading. And as the title says, I will be focusing on you and your person, but this is particularly for those that uh, there is no communication, okay? So if there's been a disconnection here and you know, if this person is still on your mind or they're occupying your heart space, uh, this is your reading, most definitely though, okay? Uh, so Pisces, there will be an extended to this. Um, and should you wish to join me, the link to that is below as well. 100% uh, optional, of course. So I will, uh, I'm still getting a, a lot of inquiries about personal readings. So uh, I have made it very simple. So the menu of love readings is down below. So how to book all of that with me, how to contact me if you have any questions beforehand, uh, that can all be found below as well. So Pisces, enough about me. Let's talk about you, you and your person, please, that you are not in communication with. I will be focusing it, uh, my intention on your person side. In other words, kind of, it is a bit, you know, I suppose it's a form of spying, but kind of reading on their side here. You know, what do they wish to say to you? If they could, if they had the chance, the, the golden opportunity to speak to Pisces, what would they say? Also want to tap into their feelings, um, hidden thoughts, uh, possible actions as well, and also overall energy about this connection now. Let's get straight into it. Whoops. For my Pisces, please. No communication. I'll get that card that jumped out. Oh, okay. I've got two jumping cards. <laughs> that's a whole bunch that's too much one more all right and i hope you are doing all well pisces it is absolutely freezing where i am <laughs> it's saturday where i am and it won't stop raining <laughs> perfect time to be inside so what do we have oh okay strong fire energy king of wands came out and temperance came out hmm gonna help to notice that both of these people are looking straight at you pisces okay you could be dealing with a sagittarius uh could also be dealing more with a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, um, strong Leo there with that lying in the background, huge kitty cat. Uh, so we have someone here that wants to take action towards you. And their goal here is to bring back peace and harmony. There may be a waiting game. It's almost like they're waiting for the perfect time to strike, in other words, in a nice way. Man or woman doesn't matter, though, but I'm going to keep these over here. All right. Yeah, more fire energy. Your person, so they are coming towards you. Absolutely. They're go-getters here, but uh, they want a passionate new start with you. The aces are all about beginnings here. There's like this fire in their belly that uh, they do not wish to extinguish. You know, we've started off with a lot of fire. Actually, I'll put this over here so you can see. There we are. Passionate new start here. They haven't let this go. Absolutely not. Got the magician here. Gemini Virgo energy. Yeah, they're trying to manifest this new start. I feel like they have not given up though, because it's like they've got laser focus straight to you. And you don't have to be dealing with a fire sign. This could be strong in their chart. It's just this desire that they have to uh, really go towards you now. There's a lot of attraction here towards you. Page of Pentacles, they've got messages here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. And for some of you, there could be an age difference as well. Or something that makes you like different, quirky, a very unique relationship. Yeah, there's a message here. There's going to come as a small offer though. You know, their energy overall is like, you know, the king of wands, but they may be coming to you as a page of pentacles, uh, only because I feel like they want to test the waters. You know, temperance, is, uh, temperance card is not an impulsive card. It is all about kind of taking things slow, testing the waters. I kind of want to see what your reply is going to be, if you're going to give them a reply at all. Uh, so we have Libra here with the judgment card. But they've had this spiritual awakening. The relationship has had a spiritual awakening here. They definitely want to come back. I feel like they will. They've had that aha moment, that light bulb, and it's like, okay, well, it's now or never, and I better approach my Pisces, and I better approach them um, correctly with that temperance card and the page of pentacles here. So far, I'm not feeling that it's going to just be spontaneous uh, or like, you know, impulsive here. They've had a lot of time to think about this, though. So in the heart of the reading here, that influences all the other cards. We have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. That's my marriage card as well. Now, some of you... Yes, may have been married or the element here, the question or the topic of marriage was important here. Um, but this message here is the same for all Pisces watching this video is that they're coming back because they want long term commitment with you. They see longevity with you. They just they want to provide a future for you. They want to work with you. Beautiful. 
King of Cups, heavy Scorpio energy, also Cancer and Pisces, but very heavy Scorpio for me, okay? So they love you. They're coming to express a lot of things with you. Um, absolutely, though. We've got the Ace of Wands here. We've got some news coming your way. They want to rekindle this. They see longevity. They're trying to manifest themselves back in your life. And they're also going to express how much they love you. They may have had, they may have missed an opportunity to express themselves correctly the first time. What else do we have? The Empress. Ooh, beautiful energy. More Taurus energy here with the Empress and the Hierophant. Okay. Um, some of you uh, may uh, be pregnant, wanting to get pregnant. If you don't want to get pregnant, uh, well, just be careful. Um, you don't want some surprise like that, I suppose. Um, yeah, there may be children involved. Um, but putting that aside here, they just see you here as just very, uh, very abundant, very beautiful or handsome. doesn't matter. Gender is not important in my readings. It's the energy that comes out, that radiates out. Uh, so, yeah, no, you know, the, the Empress is all the queens wrapped up into one. So they hold you in high regard. They respect you a lot. And there's something here, Pisces, that you're just really good at. Now, this could be something personal, um, something artistic, something at work. Like, you're like the go-to person here. I just feel like you're quite a leader in your own right, though. What else do we have? The Strength card. More fire energy. Okay? Uh, you could be dealing with a Leo here, but this is your person mustering up their courage. They really are building up their strength and their courage to approach you. This is beautiful. I feel like you're in a position of power here. Um, not in an egotistical way. It's just they know that, well... It's really up to you, though. They're going to present beautiful things to you. There is going to be a heartfelt message here. Um, yeah, look at that. They want a new start with you. There has been an ending. But uh, this clearly says, uh, you know, death or rebirth. Oh, well, death and rebirth. <laughs> Could be dealing again with another Scorpio. Again, it's under the Scorpio here. Yeah, that one transformation. Bottom of the deck. More fire energy there. Uh, with the full card. More Aries. Okay, energy. So... Yeah, they're going to take that leap of faith. They're going to take the chance, uh, whether you say yes or no. I have a feeling a lot of these Pisces, because I'm just seeing so much fire here. I'm also seeing heavy Taurus as well. I'm seeing some Libra. I'm seeing also Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio. You know, I'm seeing really a lot of signs. Uh, but yeah, I feel like a lot of these will be hearing this person out. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there could be family involved, the topic of children, um, marriage as well. Could be dealing also with an Aquarius with that star card. This is destined. You have known each other before in past lives and you will know each other in future lives. Okay. But this is destined though. But they've got regret here. Only of things that were left unsaid here. They may have been quite indecisive um, within this relationship. You know, they could have been breadcrumbing you or maybe saying, yeah, let's do this. Um, I want our relationship to go this way. But yet yeah, it's like it was all on false hope because nothing happened. Let's continue. Now, this is a very basic story. So we're going to get, dig deeper and get a lot more information. I'm just going to move the camera like that. I just, I like shuffling on camera. <laughs> that's why I have to make sure that that's properly set up beforehand. Sorry about that. All right. Oh, my Pisces, please. Yeah, so the reason why I'm doing uh, this particular topic of no communication, I've had a lot of requests um, in, in regards to what if you're not talking to your person, though, you know, um, and a lot of people just, uh, you know, a lot of viewers, sorry, um, really just wanted to know, yeah, we've got that painful ending there, see, been painful for both of you. Yeah, a lot of uh, viewers wanted to know what's really going on in their mind, what's going on in their emotions. Um, so, yeah, that's why there was uh, <laughs> quite a lot of emails. So I thought, um, you know what, let's just, um, let's get straight into it. So next week for you Pisces, we will talk about obviously something else in regards to your uh, love reading. But for this time, it's all about no communication and your person is most definitely coming back. They want longevity with you here. Yeah, there's definitely a message coming. And it's not, it's definitely, it's not something oops, um, impulsive. This is something they've really been thinking about there with the temperance card. Uh, they want to do it correctly. They want to be sensible about this as well. Uh, they do know that maybe you may... Oh, okay. They really want to talk. Couldn't help to notice they got Page of Pentacles again. More Capricorn energy. Yeah, the death card again. Look at that. So we're getting a lot of repeat messages here. Um, but yeah, they, they do know that you're hurt. I'm, I'm hearing that Pisces, a lot of yous, we're just crying. A, well, we're crying a lot. So, I mean, really, in, a, in the end of a relationship, there's always going to be tears. Um, so, put that there. So the card that flew out was the Magician again. Amazing, look at that. 
yeah, Gemini, Virgo energy, they're trying to manifest themselves, they're trying to manifest this situation. And how is it that they're doing it? They don't even realize. I think it's just they're really thinking about you. They're visualizing the conversation here as well. So we have the King of Cups again. Look at that. Yeah, see, the more that you get the same card from different decks is that, you know, it, it just, Spirit is saying this is really what's going to happen. Pay attention, Pisces. It's solidifying the message for you on top of the Ace of Wands, clarifying that. Yeah, you definitely have your person that loves you. I feel like they're really thinking about you, though. Very, I'm going to say, they're very much still in love with you. They just regret not really showing it. I feel like for them it still wasn't enough. Yeah, Page of Swords here. So uh, they're, 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 they are looking at, they're spying on you, in other words. They're looking at you. Um, could be even old messages here, old photos, social media. Now, in this particular deck, the sword is pointing down. So that does mean that you're not talking. Communication may have been blocked. Um, yeah, that's the thing. I'm kind of feeling that there is some of you that if there is communication, is very inconsistent. Um, it's not reliable. So you're kind of seeing that, that there really is no communication. But yeah, pages. They're still coming back as pages, though. Um, even though they've got that king energy here, um, yeah, it's almost like yeah, they're still, they just want to test the waters. They want to see what's going to happen though. Um, they do realize that with the page of swords, there may have to be maybe an uncomfortable conversation. Because um, I do feel here yeah, that you were deeply hurt, especially when I saw that ten of swords here. You know, that is the card of someone being betrayed or backstabbed as well though. Yeah, we've got the wounded warrior here. That wounded warrior is the nine of wands, Okay. And they know that you may be quite apprehensive. Um, they're a little bit worried, though, on how you're going to receive the message from them as well, though. You're getting pages now. I noticed that we're kind of building up a story here of what they want to do. They want to offer you something, but there is news here. They want to speak their truth. They want to reverse that sword and have it pointing up. So that means open communication, because at the moment, no communication. I can clearly see that. Uh, but they know that you're quite apprehensive, quite guarded as well, though. I'm hearing here that someone said, I hate you. Um, not as in, I really, really hate you. It's almost like, I hate what you've, what you've done. I hate that you ended this. I hate what you did. Um, so <clears throat> I feel like they're interpreting that as like, as if you Pisces really hate this person. So they're just a very, ooh, I'm going to say anxious, very worried about how the message is going to be received, honestly. So let's clarify judgment. We've got the Queen of Wands, more energy of that fire, okay? Yeah, couldn't help to notice that you've got your, uh, where is it? Was it here? Yeah, see? You've got your divine counterpart here. You've got the perfect match. The queen and the king of wands, yeah. You know, I'm kind of also feeling that, I mean, I'm not going to say that there's more, too many people in the relationship because you are getting the kings again of the cups here, but they want to reconcile. This person wants to take action to you, okay? Again, they find you very attractive. They really, really love you. Um, yeah, but they're go-getters. It's all about action here, but they want to be very careful about this with the temperance card. I feel like they don't want to, how could I say that? Um, it's like, um, they don't, I'm kind of saying, you know, when you ruffle someone's feathers, it's like that. They don't, they're just very careful. They don't want, they don't want an argument basically, or they, they're scared that you might get fired up. Let's see. Got the Empress again. Look at that. Definitely the topic here that someone is a mother, that there is children here. Um, again, double Taurus energy on top of Taurus, the Hierophant Taurus, the Empress Taurus, okay? Uh, there is definitely here someone that uh, was married, okay? Some of you actually could be married, probably just in separation though. But there is the topic here of marriage, of children here. But um, yeah, now they're coming, I mean, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, but again, the person's holding you in a lot of respect though. There is something that you do that they just really fondly admire as well. They find you very attractive, very beautiful, very handsome here. They've been thinking about you quite a lot. Mentally, physically, uh, yes, so there is some, some you know, intimate fantasies here. But they really, I feel like they're drawn to you here. It's like, even if they tried to move away, they just couldn't though. So clarifying the King of Cups, beautiful. We have the lovers, Gemini energy again. Because you got it with the magician there, okay. That's soulmate energy there. It's a beautiful card, though. Mm, but it's about choices, though. Many, 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 many moons ago, it was called originally choices. So they do know here that there is a choice that uh, ultimately you will make. You know, do I, mm, do I want to start again? They know that they want to. They've already made this choice. Yeah. What else? So clarifying the Empress, we have the Seven of Wands. Okay. So this is the energy of them not giving up on you. They hope that you won't give up on them as well. 
okay but they do know that you're very defensive especially with you know you've got the nine of wands you've got the seven of wands it's all about defending yourself it can get a bit tiring though all right um there may have been some people outside of the relationship within the relationship also that kind of made you very defensive maybe you may have had to defend yourself but i feel here that they'll, they will also be doing that as well uh, they may not take this lying down if you say no to them okay but uh they're, they're, they want to fight for this absolutely clarifying the strength card four of pentacles here yeah, they refuse to let you go okay there could be some financial issues happening with them either there's a lot of money that um like this is like overspending or a lot of money that they're paying out that they really don't want it to go there uh, possibly to a leo um or maybe the mother of their children if they were with someone else here or well, they're holding on to their money out of fear. So they're really holding it. Um, they're, clo they're a bit closed off at the moment, though. Really thinking about you. They're not revealing the next move. They're not talking about their next move or even their feelings. But, you know, the fours are all about security, stability, building a strong foundation so you feel secure. Um, but, yeah, they're not letting you go, though. You've got the Knight of Cups here. So after this ending, there will be a, uh, yeah, there's going to be a love proposal here, a love offer. Okay? Strong Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And we also have the King of Coins. Okay, uh, so, well, someone here could be a father as well. Yeah, we've got that healing here. No one's talking. <laughs> Definitely no one's talking, though. Um, after a lot of movement, everything's gone very quiet, though. Let's get some modern oracle here. Could be, uh, yeah, so we've got family, the family card at the bottom. So that could also be a question here. Maybe Pisces, you know, this was the right person, wrong time as well, though. Um, that makes it more difficult because especially, you know, you just long for each other, you just love each other, but it's just not the right time. Um, it almost seems a bit cruel that that happened too. So, yeah, they're definitely coming back, though. They recognize you as, you know, these are the feelings as the soulmate, as the mother of their children. Like, I'm also hearing someone saying that they shouldn't have... I wish they met you first. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a lot of things with that King of Cups there. It's a lot of things that were uh, left unsaid or just it was kind of hard for them to express it. I'm also hearing that they have also a bit of, I think like both of you almost had a bit of um, insecurities that you weren't good enough for each other. But um, your person really holds you in high regard though. They know that you're you're definitely worth this. Of course you are. I feel like they have also a bit of their own insecurities as well someone here could also um them for some of you maybe they were also um younger than you as well or you like i'm just seeing there's probably a bit of a um an age gap here but yeah so um we've got take charge control confront their fears yeah they're going to do that you know that's almost like the knight of swords energy they, they are they're going to charge towards you they're going to confront their fears so the element here of maybe their home the home situation also could be changing i think they're going to let you know that as well um yeah just like the death card they want that change they want that transition just like the butterfly here this could be also the timing of this could be in a couple of days for some of you as well we got encouragement you can do it go for it yeah they're encouraging themselves but this is a sign with that um, judgment card here and you, they're going to come towards you. They're going to go for it. Yep. So, yeah, there could also be some changes at their workplace. They could be starting a business, um, a side business. They could also be getting promoted with the three, with the empress. It could be actually quite profitable for them as well. Yeah. So they. this is like my six of wands. Okay. So, yes, um, I do see success also in their um in their career um but also they do want success with you because it's on top of the lovers card as well so you could be dealing with um a male here okay i got some very strong masculine energy um yeah look at this this is like my temperance card they will need to have patience okay they're not going to rush in it's going to take time though they know that absolutely that's like that refusal to let you go after all this time overseas cruising along again see i'd say he's taking your time okay so, yeah, someone could also be at a distance. They may actually want to go away with you. Um, so we also got finding um, balance, weighing up the situation here, okay? It's like the pros and cons and how to approach you as well, though. Also trying to think outside the box. So let's get some initials here. First, last name, initials. I mean, this is not going to apply to everyone. Let's get some more. Just need it now. Guardian Angel Spirit Guides, please. it no more all right let me see so we've got i mean it doesn't matter if it's upside down we've got h okay what else do we have we've got p 
okay? Um, this could also be your first name and last name initials. Um, take it how it um, resonates, okay? We've got B. Okay, we've got O. Let's get these out of the way. What else do we have? We have A as well. Q. And we also have W. It's going to see that as M as well, but yeah, it looks like a W. Okay, let's get some characteristics out as well. Let's just shuffle this. I mean, shake it in the bag. Let's grab quite a long. I think it might get really deep down in there. Yeah, that feels good. All right, what do we have? What do we have? Okay, could be dealing with someone that's actually quite tall. Okay, that could have a very tall stature. Someone could have green eyes. Okay. Mm, someone could also have tattoos. This could also be you as well. Someone could wear glasses. Okay, they're blind as a bat like me because I need glasses. Someone could have red hair. This could also be dyed as well. Okay. What else do we have? Hazel eyes. Oh, beautiful. Someone could have short hair as well. So one extreme to another and someone could have blue eyes as well. Wow. Okay. So they are definitely coming back. I'm going to take this to the extended Pisces and I really want to get really deeper um, into the energy of your person um, as well. This whole situation, um, possible outcome as well, as well as also um, some advice for you as well. So I'm going to get straight into that. Um, but if this is where we depart Pisces, I wish you all the very, very best. Take care. Bye.